Sean Desmond is releasing new music this morning, and here's a little taste of his new single. What's even better than that is the song, it's, then the song itself is the story behind it. Love Me With The Lights On is inspired in part by Sean's wife and her health journey, and he's hoping it will make everyone feel a little more comfortable in their own skin. We are so excited to have Sean Desmond in studio with us oh this God. morning. Thank you. Thank you so much, congratulations. Thank you so much, I'm so happy to be here. It's great to be there. I love that you're here on the same day that your single is re right? being released, so how does that feel? Very exciting day, it feels great. Um, it's such an important message mm -hmm. uh, because, you know, now, especially with social media and everything, you know, there's all these images of so perfect. Everything mm -hmm. has to be perfect. And you know what? You don't have to be perfect. Um, and I always tell my wife, it's actually your imperfections that make you perfect to me. Well, this you know? is, it's a great message for you to give your wife. 100%. It's a great message for everyone yes. to feel. And yes. I understand that the single, of course, as we mentioned, was yeah. inspired by your wife's mm -hmm. own health journey. Yes. Do you feel comfortable talking about that? Is 100%. That so my wife battled uh, ulcerative colitis for five years. Okay. Uh, finally got to the point where her medications were not working. And she had to go in for emergency surgery um, and this was all in and around when we were getting to uh, getting ready to release my first single maniac and I remember laying in the hospital bed with her and she turned and she said to me I'm so scared and I'm like yeah obviously you're scared you know that's normal you're going in surgery she said no that's not what I'm scared about she said I'm scared that once I do this and you see the changes in my body you're not gonna find me attractive anymore and I was like oh my god like that's, first of all, that should be the furthest thing from your mind. And second of all, you are always going to be the most beautiful girl and sexiest woman in the room to me. So you do not have to worry about that. And I mean, that's the thing. You're just worried about her health. But it's yeah. such a relatable thing that so yeah. it would go through so many of and our And so minds. many people yeah. suffer from uh, IBDs, like mm -hmm. Crohn's and ulcerative colitis. She's met so many people. Uh, and also, she's touched so many people because she's very open about it on social media. And this is great. She's really, yeah. you know, inspiring other people. And mm -hmm. so are you with the single. And, I, you know, I, you've been performing since you were a kid forever and like so many of us yeah. your career has been a roller coach mm -hmm. coaster an adventure you really sort of burst on the scene with some big hits mm -hmm. in the early 2000s took a bit of a decade yeah. off um and then of course you released your uh, single maniac last year what has your sort of re-entry into the industry been like so to speak? Uh, wow it's been really amazing um you know, last year I got invited, though, the, what, what kind of got this started was I got invited to the OVO opening mm -hmm. uh, by Drake last year. Big. Um, and for me, it was just like, yeah, I'm going to do the show and then I'm just going to, you know, go back to my couch, live the life. I'm mm -hmm. done making music. It didn't happen that way. I wasn't planning. Um, and then that night was such a defining moment for me. Like, you know, Sean Desmond, uh, sorry, Drake was like, yo, dude, these people need you. You need to make music again. And so I was like, great. wow, I th maybe people still do care about Sean Desmond. They obviously do. Right. And how does that feel? How does it feel being back at performing? 20 again? years later, yeah. it's incredible. Um, I, I was telling, I was talking off camera to the producers. It's like, I, I'm doing a whole bunch of summer festival gigs now. And I have fans who have been following me for 20 years who now have kids who are, are now also my fans. Like, that's incredible. It's like inspiring two generations of of uh, people. I can yeah. tell you have so much joy uh, for what you do and yes. so much love for what you do. And you mentioned dancing. You're also a yep. great dancer as well. Thank you. Um, uh, I understand that it's a family thing, <laughs> dancing. Do you do a little Apparently. My daughter dance is dancing all day, every day. This is great. Um, she takes after her mom. Look, Look there this. she is. Yeah, yeah. And as you can see, I wasn't too pleased. This, I literally, I just landed at <laughs> six in the morning. And I'm like, really, Sienna, we got to make this video right now? Um, but she's the best, yeah. She's, she's uh, so cute. She's a natural born performer and she can sing. I love it. Yeah. It's a family yeah. affair. There yeah. you go. It is. It Very, is. It's amazing. Well, I'm so Thank excited you. that you're here with yeah. us today. Thank you so much of for course. launching your single Thank you. with us. And a reminder, Sean's new single is called Love Me With The yes. Lights On. And it I have to say, too, before I leave, Ooh. you guys have one of my dearest friends working here, JP, whom I've known for yes, we do. 25 years. Electrics. I was a dancer on Electric Circus, and he was floor managing the show. Don't try and hide back there. You knew I was going to call you. Come he's on, man. He's also one of our favorite people yeah. as well. So thank you for of the shout course. out to him because he's a wonderful human being. Sean, you're, you're so awesome. Thank, thank you so you. much for thank being you guys. here today. Hey, thanks for watching. If you liked this, be sure to subscribe here or you can check out more Your Morning videos right here.